Okay, really just introducing the, the mission of, of the project. Um, the mission is to promote creativity, competitiveness, employability, and the growth of an entrepreneurial spirit. And we're also here to try to support European teachers to teach entrepreneurship. In terms of our actual objectives, the main objectives of the, the project, first of all, to create an educational game, um, which is actually going to um, uh, develop this creativity and entrepreneurial spirit. We're going to create some supporting materials um, around the use of the game. We're going to create a series of pedagogy guides that teachers can actually use. We're going to create a, a, teach a training course for teachers and finally we're then going to run a, a large-scale European competition on entrepreneurship. Okay, so I'm now going to hand over to Joel Josephson and he's going to introduce the role of the associate partners. All right, uh, thank you Thomas. Um, thank you everybody for coming. Uh, hopefully you can all hear me properly now. Um, I just want to, uh, as Thomas said, but I want it on the recording, I just want to thank the Department of Education in Nevada who have been very kind to donate the use of this uh, Adobe Connect application for the use of our project. It's, uh, they're actually an associate partner as well. Now, as you can see on screen, and, and hopefully you can all see the screen nicely, uh, we've got four areas where we very much appreciate the help and the engagement of educators like you from across Europe in the project. Uh, and I'm going to detail out these four areas individually. Uh, the first one is joining a community of practice, like an advisory board, to actually comment and uh, add to our ideas and uh, to give us feedback on, how, on the resources we're producing. We'd very much like you involved in the large-scale European competition with your schools across Europe. Um, disseminating the project is a very in, uh, uh, important part of what we do within the projects. And finally, this project is for a particular uh, age group, secondary age group, and obviously we'd be very interested in perhaps you or using our resources in adapting the uh, resources and the project that we make to any circumstances for other levels of education, maybe adult or vocational or even primary school. Um, and finally, the final thing uh, you can actually get involved in is um, by, uh, uh, we, sorry, we uh, budgeted for five teachers to attend the final conference of the project and what we'll actually do is pick that from out of the partners who've been involved, uh, associate partners who've been involved in the European competition. Um, so let's have a look at those areas in a little bit more detail. Um, first of all, the community of practice. At, at the moment, to keep it simple, we've made a um, uh, we've made a page on Facebook, and we're going to put that link into the chat now uh, of the Facebook page, where we will actually be posting some of the documents or telling you where you'll be able to see documents that you can contribute to. Now uh, initially we're going to be look, putting up a draft version of the game which will be at a, what we call a requirement stage, i.e. what do we need to make in this game and we very much appreciate your ideas and your feedback on that and your opinions and also if you have any special circumstances locally that you think could affect the actual uh, game or the, the way that could be run uh, and obviously because we've got educators from across Europe that's an advantage of uh, you helping I in that process. Um, the large-scale European competition, we've got an approximate date up here and it's, I know it's quite a long time off but again this is very much where your involvement would be really appreciated and this is going to be run across Europe here, uh, Europe, and we're going to have a judging panel of people from high tech uh, and other areas in business to actually look at what the students produce in this sort of a game that they'll play autonomously. We'd very much like your feedback, and also 
for you to actually use the project resources into the future because obviously that's a very important part of what we do within these projects. Uh, the next area is about disseminating the project. Now obviously we've got lots of people involved already in the project uh, but we always want to go further with this and what we're going to actually do is uh, supply presentations and articles and newsletters that you can actually use yourself and that could be disseminating to teachers in your school or in other schools in your locality to your local authority associations etc I've got them sort of listed here and you can see but because this game is about entrepreneurship we go a little bit further perhaps than normal and be very interested in bringing this project to the attention of people like Chambers, Chambers of Commerce and Business Association. And finally, of course, we very much like you to join the Facebook group and the link is in the chat there, they're reported in for us, thank you. And, uh, you, uh, and you can actually post your, uh, your, your experience in playing the game or being involved in helping define what that game is. Uh, finally, this is sort of a, a little bit of a well into the future, but we're, the project is currently targeted at uh, students between about 14 and 18 years. Now obviously it would be very interesting to try and do a similar game uh, for children perhaps older, for vocational or adults. And again, maybe uh, further down the line, we'll put together groups who may be interested in looking at what we produced and looking at ways of um, adapting it to other levels. Okay, um, so that's really where we see your role and be very grateful for your help. Um, and what we'd like to do now is have a, a question and answer session if there's any questions you have about what we've just spoken about. And we'll do our best to try and answer you. So please type away. Um, I'm waiting for any comments. I can see people are typing. So I'm, wa I'm waiting uh, to see the comments in the chat and then obviously I'll answer them then. Ah, great. So oh, what one thing I didn't ask, and it would help because there are some people who come in anonymously, if you could actually write into the chat um, where you're actually from, which country please could say that as well. Um, thank you very much for your offer to help with dissemination. Uh, what I will do is be putting links to documents or the documents uh, into the Facebook group and you'll be able to take those down and use them and we may have some of them in already translated but of course you could always translate yourselves. Um, they're not long documents, it's introductory documents so that, that's possible. Okay so we have people from can we find any, uh, Ilk Nur, I, hopefully I said that right, asked, can we find any written documentation about the project? And um, at the moment, uh, because we're still at kickoff stage, uh, the only uh, information that's available is on the Facebook page. But in um, a few weeks, we'll actually have a website. And on the website, we'll have a lot more information about what we're doing and how the project will unfold and the methods that we're using and how you can contribute. Um, what we'll do is we will announce the, um, the website on the Facebook page and also I'll send it directly to, um, to the associate partners list that I do have. Okay, uh, Jean from Spain, yeah I know. I think what actually happens is it gets stuck in the cache. So don't worry about it, <laughs> we know who you are now, thanks. Okay. Uh, do we have any other questions at this stage? Oh, uh, can you please put the link for Facebook in again? Just be nice. Thank you, Vera. Okay. Okay. I, I'll actually ask you guys a question then. Um, I, I, I presume quite a few of them are, uh, uh, you are from uh, secondary school secondary schools are you actually uh, are you hoping to actually take part in the game yourself to actually play it with your students uh, 
Ah, yes, Daniela. Yes, hi, Daniela. Nice to have you with us. And so remember you teach this group. So it's, it's exactly the age that you're teaching, of course. For, we're, we're looking at 14 to 18 in this one. I'm just waiting for the people are typing. So Rasa, again, you're right in the zone. Thanks for waiting. Okay. okay. So Joanne, we, you, you're, we decided that uh, to make it sort of even the competition, um, we, we, we just focus on 14 to 18 year olds because the age gap. But it, it is uh, an area we really would like to look at is younger groups as well. We certainly, I don't think we could do kindergarten here. Uh, Renia, I presume, so hopefully I said that right, um, because uh, um, there'd be quite a lot of text-based and internet-based activities which may not be appropriate for this sort of age group. So uh, Lima, yeah, you're, you're banging the zone. Okay, and Dina. Yeah. But, you know, yeah, you, you, of course, you can also help us with dissemination and contributing to some of our plans as well, in that respect. Okay. So not sure. No, it's not for primary schools, Dina. It's actually for secondary. Uh, up here on the presentation, we've got it written, it's 14 to 18 years. So that, that's really the age group we're looking at. Yeah, that's it. Thanks, uh, Daniel. Yeah, technical colleges is a really good, uh, really good group because you know business skills and you know about making new ideas and business plans is, is, is actually. Uh, Ilknor asks, how do we create the game for the project? Um, well, that's part of a process that we're just started going through, and we will be putting the documents up onto uh, the website uh, onto um, the internet for your comments on um, on how and what we're thinking of doing to get some real feedback from your point of view. Okay, okay, Maria, that's good. My students are geniuses with the computers, and so are my children. <laughs> They're much better than us. <laughs> okay. Okay, I'm just waiting for some more uh, questions. I'm just uh, waiting for these last comments. That'll be great. We'll, we'll just keep in touch through the Facebook page, and you'll uh, whatever's going to happen, whatever's happening, you'll find out news there. And then later on on the webs on the uh, website as well, we'll be putting news, so you'll know exactly when and where and what we're doing. That's the whole point of this interaction now. Okay, so um, I don't know if there's any more questions now. Yeah, I've got, uh, presumably this is Joanne, this guest, oh no, it's Andre. We've got two more, let's wait for those to come up. Okay. So I'm just waiting for this final comment. Uh, we'll put it on both. We're, uh, everything we do, we'll uh, place a link on Facebook to wherever we put those resources, and it will be also on the web page. So you'll find it both ways. We, we, we look at it from both points of view, so you'll be able to find stuff there. Okay, so um, I'm going to close the uh, webinar in a moment. I'd like to thank everybody for coming. It's uh, very good of you to ta take your time you know, to join us. If you've got any further questions for now, please put them on the uh, Facebook page and we'll answer them through there. 
And of course later on we'll be announcing the website where you can find it as well and all the other areas that we'd like you to contribute. And this will be our initial communication place. So thank you very much for joining us and uh, we'll all say goodbye from here. Everybody, one, two, three. Bye. Goodbye. <laughs> <laughs> okay, and well, hopefully we'll see you next time as well. So thank you for joining us and uh, goodbye from Scotland. Bye.